How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lai Hobby Time. This week, I'm using this acrylic baseball display case to create a nano nook. I have not made one of those in a while. This time, it's going to be a hanger for this snow speeder from Bondi. I started by taking the measurements for the interior of this thing, and each side was just under 3 inches. I also wanted to use a 3 volt battery to power this, so I used the battery housing from an electric tea light candle. I didn't really like the switch or the LED that it came with, so I cut those off. And then I took the measurements again to just see how much space I needed to hide this thing in the back. The majority of this build was done with styrene. It's important when you work with styrene to have some nice sharp blades. So we'll make sure you get a lot cleaner cuts. I get my styrene in large sheets from a plastic supply store from a nice guy named Justin. They sell these sheets in two by four foot sections for like seven dollars, which is far more affordable than getting it at the hobby store. So that's a, a nice tip for you. I then traced out the shape of a hanger door on the front used a ruler to get some nice clean lines and then I freehanded those corners. I then cut out that shape with my X-Acto knife and I used this trick that I learned from Adam Savage's video on working with styrene where you cut across from corner to corner. It makes getting those shapes on the interior out a lot easier. I then cleaned up those corners and sides I was happy with how that looked. I wanted the floor to be flush with the bottom of the hanger door. That was a nice little rhyme. So I glued on a piece of styrene, giving enough space for one other piece of styrene to fit flush. I glued that to the front. I glued two more pieces on either side so the floor would fit in there just like that. Then marked out the placement of the lights that will go on the floor. I drew a little grid so that those would be evenly spaced. I used a pin vise to drill the holes for that. Then I ran the LEDs through. And I took a little piece of U-shaped styrene and I put around the outside of each of those lights to help direct light back towards the interior of the room. I glued that in place, I added a little door made of styrene, and some trim made of styrene. I then used some more styrene to build some hanger doors. I looked at a little reference photo, saw the pattern for those. So I cut those out, glued them to the interior of each side, and then I drew that same pattern on the back door and I scored it with my X-Acto. Then glued on a little frame and glued that in place. I then designed and 3D printed some little cargo crates and this little maintenance walkway thing that goes over the speeder. I put everything in place to make sure that the spacing looked good. And then I dumped those out and got everything ready for painting. I primed everything with a flat gray primer, and then it was at this point I realized I was a dingus and had forgotten to add the texture to the walls in the form of ice layers, so I went back with the X-Acto knife and I tried to score those as best as I could. I then mixed up some green and blue paint, applied that with the airbrush into all of the corners and around the edges to help build up the base color for the ice. I then switched to a white paint and I applied that loosely over top, trying to let some of that blue and green show through. And I painted the back wall with a dark gray as well as the front doors. I started to use some white paint to paint some snow on the floor. 
And then I remembered that I had a bag of fake snow from a previous project. So I used some watered down glue and I sprinkled that on. And I really liked the way it looked. And I was able to save most of the stuff that I got on the table. Then added a dry brushing to highlight all of the little edges on the walkway. I did the same thing for the snow speeder with a couple different grays getting progressively lighter. Then I added orange to all of the places that needed to be orange. And I applied a watered down glossy black to all of the windows. Then dry brushed all of the little crates, bringing out some of those details. And I glued everything in place. I thought it was looking pretty good at this point. The last thing to do was to install the electronics. I needed a hole on the side for the switch that went through both the acrylic and the styrene. So I used some masking tape to protect the acrylic. I used a Dremel to drill that hole. I connected the switch to the lights and to the power source. Then masked off the front. I took it outside, I sprayed it down with a satin black, peeled that off. It got through in a few places, so I touched that up with some white paint put it in the acrylic box, I tucked all the electronics away, tightened up the switch, I put the other half of the acrylic box together, and once that was done, I called it good. I did call it good the first time, but after looking at it for a minute, I realized it was missing something. So I went back, I added a little hole at the top to allow more ambient light in, and once I had done that, then I really did call it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great week everyone. I will see you next time.